Hello everyone. So we have got spring time in February. We still have winter storm Nova that is crossing the middle part of the actual country today into tonight and on the east coast tomorrow. So three components to the actual storm. It's a massive storm system. Basically we got snow to the north, severe weather to the south, and we got a lot of record warms on the eastern side of the storm. So the snow component is going to mainly be right across the middle portions of the country, which includes Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, and North uh, Missouri. <laughs> I didn't think there for a second. Um, widespread of 5 to 8 inches locally up to 10 inches in some spots and everything. So if you live in those regions, look out for some snow, obviously, today and tonight. And it is going to get windy as well, so you're going to have a lot of drifting and blowing. On the southern part of the actual system, that's where we're going to see severe weather pop up, mainly this evening and tomorrow on Thursday. That includes places in eastern Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, going into Mississippi, Tennessee, the south portion of Missouri going into southern Illinois, parts of Kentucky, and southern Indiana. Again, tonight going into tomorrow, we are expected to see possible supercells with large hail, damaging winds, and yes, even tornadoes once again. As this whole system, it's a pretty big system, uh, more of a spring-like pattern, uh, storm basically, instead of what we normally see in February, this is what we're seeing right now in the middle of February, which we typically see in April. So it's a very weird kind of storm and everything, but nevertheless, this is what's happening basically. And so the storm basically will be comprising itself mainly in the center of the country today on Wednesday, and then it will move into the Ohio, Tennessee River Valleys on Thursday, and then into the Northeast on Friday. Ahead of it, we are seeing a surge of a lot of warm air along the southeastern, mid-Atlantic, and northeastern portions of the country. So we're going to see record warmth possibly today, possibly tomorrow, and possibly Friday. Widespread 60s, 70s, and some 80s are going to be felt all along the eastern seaboard. A lot of the uh, records in New England were right around 60 degrees. We could see people, I mean people, we could see places getting up into the lower 60s, including um, Boston, Providence, Hartford, Worcester, Concord, New Hampshire. So records are going to possibly be broken there. New York down to Philly, Baltimore, D.C., Upper 60s, DC may hit 70 today or tomorrow. If it does, it would be the first 70 degree mark of this season. We typically see our first 70 degree uh, temperature here in DC right around this time actually, so pretty much on average. And then going down into the southeast, you're gonna see widespread 70s and a few 80s. Again, this is today, tomorrow, and going into Friday. The whole system will move across the eastern seaboard on Friday. So. Friday morning is going to be pretty mild with temperatures in the 50s and 60s, but then they're going to just crash throughout the whole entire afternoon. And we're going to see a lot of strong northwesterly winds coming in Friday evening into the morning on Saturday. So we're going to go from basically spring right back to winter by the time the weekend rolls around. So yes, winter storm Nova, again, snow in the middle part of the section, severe weather in parts of the south going into the southeast. And then again, mild air, spring-like temperatures and everything. Uh, we will see rain with the storm system. No snow here in the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast this go around. Uh, but then winter does make a return on Saturday. So that is it. Hope you all have a great day.